All right, everybody, welcome back to Movie Social. Uh, today we'll be doing a review on Crossing Swords, a Hulu, Netflix, no, it's not Netflix, I'm sorry, it's a Hulu, Hulu exclusive. That's the word I'm looking for, exclusive. Hulu original. So, today, you know, you have your host, Steph, have your main man, Ricky, on the side here. And um, as I stated, we're going to do a review on Crossing Swords. But before we start to, uh, you know, get into that, uh, you know, our review, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below. I'll give you about five seconds to do so. No, just do it when you feel like <laughs> it, but definitely like and subscribe and let us know what you guys thought in the comments and turn on notifications as well so you can know when we upload something else next. All right, so Crossing Swords, it is um, a animation. Yeah, it definitely is animation, but it's an animation with like what, Legos? Lego Not people, Lego, but sort of blocks, kinda. the toy, yeah. the blocks that you play with as a child, and yeah, like on the little uh, wooden train. Yeah, and exactly, all. the wooden block toys, uh, people or whatever. Um, same people who've um, created um, Robot Chicken. If you're into Robot Chicken, same producers and so forth. Um, and it's about a squire or a, a guy named Patrick who it wants to become a squire. To be a squire. Yeah, to and. Be a knight. Of oh uh, yeah, he wants to be a knight, the king's right hand man, um, and he goes through becoming a squire and then missions essentially or task um, as he, uh, you know, as the show goes on. Now I would say, do not watch this with children. It literally says this is for mature audiences only. There is death. Drug references, sex, sex nudity. a whole lot of sex, nudity, nudity uh, which is hilarious. Um, I think I covered language, language of, of course. Foul, very, foul. Um, very foul language. Very bad, dirty jokes. It, it mature only is order, uh, only it, it is. It may indeed. look like a kiss show, but it's not a kiss yeah, show. It's this definitely is something that would be on Adult Swim. I don't even think it'll be on night. Adult Swim, no, dude. It would be late night at Adult Swim, possibly. <laughs> or Dumb Down. If not HBO, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it would be. If it would be. If it was on HBO, it would probably be like Dumb Downed. Nah, it wouldn't be. Maybe Comic Central. No, nah, HBO. Would, HBO would do more than Comic Central for this, because HBO is wrong. You can't yeah. Have anything on it. Listen. But these are. It's only ten episodes for season one. Yeah. 20, Under thirty minutes. They on just every episode. They just so. got renewed for season two. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I stated, it's about Patrick, um, who wants to, who's an aspiring to be a squire. Once he becomes a squire, he's doing missions or tasks, um, and it is it is insane. It doesn't even have a storyline um, that ties up together. I mean, it, it does. It was kind of weird though, because it kind of seemed off topic for a moment, but then it went back to being a storyline. But yeah, it's cool. Nicholas Holt plays Patrick. Luke Evans plays King Merriman. I mean, you guys. Or as they were. <laughs> they was calling her Mary Man. It was hilarious. It's it's very comedical, comical show. Yeah. You got uh, Yvette Nicole Brown playing in there. Sergeant Walt Wilson as the sergeant, who's the trainer. Which I'm I'm sorry, but calling a sergeant doing it's supposed to be medieval times. <laughs> and is that is hilarious. And it, they and have, it's kind of they a joke have, this moment. They have a lot of old references mixed with new references in the show and. That was pretty funny. Then you have Adam Polly playing broth. Now, when he was introduced, he said, I'm everyone's favorite part of the soup. <laughs> Which was funny because you had Patrick like, no, you're not. It was hilarious. So, like, you, you have your really funny moments. You, know, you have your, like, way out there moments. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it's not something that I honestly could watch all the way through because, like, some of the stuff you need to break from, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I would definitely suggest you watch it. Uh, your thoughts? I mean, to me, it was it was entertaining, it was comical. I kept not watch it all straight in one run. It's not, not something I would binge, but it was something I would watch and continue watching. Glad it did pick up for season two. I mean, you had some great voice characters for the show. Uh, we've named some, and then of course Seth Green is in there as well, which was a shock for me. But he's a great com 
comical actor. Yeah, this is her so, from like he's definitely like this like the robot chicken kind of thing. I don't know if you ever watched it. Yeah, I've seen this is this is his realm. Like this like this yeah. kind of stuff is kind of comedy. It was animation is definitely his thing. It was a definitely good ten episode comedy show. Uh, something to watch past the time. Really entertaining. Of course, some of the things were a little out of place in my opinion for storyline, but it kind of went well with the comical sense of the show. I mean, I would definitely, if you have nothing to watch right now and need a good laugh, watch this. It'll give you some good laughs. What would you rate it, personally? I'd probably say seven. Give it a seven. Seven out of ten. So yeah, so we will do a spoiler review of this as well. Yeah. And you'll see in the right hand corner there. So go ahead and click, click on, on that if you would like to see it. Um, but definitely let us know what you thought again yeah. in the comments. So we don't forget. We'd love to engage with you guys to find out what you guys were liking, what you didn't like. So let us know. Yeah, and so. definitely check out, check out this, check out Robot Chicken. Let us know, comparisons, anything. Yeah.